Hi YouTube, this is AC Dodd, and I thought I'd do something on timing lights. People have been asking me about uh, my recommendations for timing lights, and as you know, most of my work involves using a lot of automotive tools, especially the timing light. Um, so I thought people were asking me to do it, so I thought I'd start the process of reviewing some timing lights. Now in order to do that, I've got this timing light here, which will be the first one I look at, which is the Innova timing light, the 5568. Um, if there are any manufacturers out there or any, any people who are selling timing lights and you'd like them reviewed, then please get in contact and I can look to do them. So what I intend to do here is not to do, just do a 10 minute video uh, showing 10 different timing lights. I'm actually going to do uh, take them out on the road and I'm going to use them and then I'll make a series of videos about each individual timing light. So, without further ado, let's get into the Innova 5568. So, I've already unpacked this, so this is not gonna be, a, you know, me and an unboxing video as such. This is gonna be a case of just showing you the product. So, inside the box, obviously we have the timing light. Uh, as you can see, Innova 5568A, which is the one I've purchased here. Now, I have purchased this with my own money, so this is not something that people have given me, and I'm gonna give an excellent review about it. I'm just gonna review this honestly. I bought this uh, as an actual replacement for one of my timing lights uh, to for me to carry when I'm out on the road. Um, so I've already used this timing light, but we're gonna do some more testing, uh, of which we'll take some footage. Uh, and then you can see how that goes. But let's go through some of the features. Okay, for, uh, the main features of this timing light is it's got detachable leads, you can use it one-handed operation, you've got a protective handguard just in case you get your fingers in the way of any rotating components. Uh, you've also got uh, the ability to go up to 9,990 RPM. One of the things I actually look at for a timing light uh, when I'm using it is I'm not really worried about all these flashy functions i just look at what it actually does and how it actually performs because it doesn't really matter about any of that what really matters is you can use the timing light it's got no flicker on the screen no um you know you don't want the numbers to be jumping about you want it's nice smooth steady operation so hopefully uh, with this innova we should be in that boat so let's get on and see how it works Okay, so we've got the end of a timing light. This is the 5568 that we've been talking about. Um, first thing, it's a plug-in lead set. Um, I'm not a great fan of these, but if they're well made, and this one is, it's got some nice, nice thick cables on it and flexible. And it just pushes into the end light. So, and then the next thing that I like about this timing light, is if you look at the connections, You'll see it's, it's not just crimped, it's actually soldered in. So that's a proper connection. So that's something you don't get on the cheaper lights. So what we're gonna do now, this is a little nine and eight mini, and we're gonna use it to check the dwell angle and check the timing. Now this has got electronic ignition on it, so it should give us an, a dwell reading, but it'll be much lower than it would be on points because it's a variable dwell system. So the first thing we look at on here is it's come on on the first menu. We're showing battery voltage, which uh, on this one is straight off the fuse box. So that's exactly what I'd expect it to do. Use the function switch. And then we're gonna go to uh, dwell angle. And then we're gonna go around to four cylinder at 90. And then we'll take a connection using the green connection. And we can see our dwell angle there. It's a nice stable 24 degrees. Now when I rev that, pick up. As you can see, that's a nice stable reading. And a good quality timing light will give you nice, stable, sensible readings. So yeah. That's a, that's a really good function. So the, uh, the dwell meter on this works really well. So let's move over to the timing function and see what we've got. 
the uh, pickup is quite a big chunky uh, item. It's plastic and uh, you know feels feels heavy. Uh, so I would say that's quite a good quality. I mean, I like metal ones, but you know time moves on. So the first thing we notice is we've got a rev counter, and if you notice, it's rock steady. Poor quality timing lights that'll be flicking about all over the place. So. I'm already liking this. There's a button to turn the flash off, which works perfectly. And then obviously we've got the advanced function. So we're going to use those functions now and see what we get. Okay, so. The timing setting on this engine is actually very retarded. So we're going to advance the timing now to make this run better. I just included this shot here so you can uh, all see how steady the tachometer is. So that's reading uh, pretty much spot on what the engine is actually idling at. And also it's not flicking about and varying. So yeah, uh, this is excellent. Okay, so we've got the, uh, the Innova 5568 connected up again. We're on a point ignition this time, and we've got super smooth running. So, yeah, very happy with this timing light. So let's check the dwell angle. As you can see, that's rock solid. No flickering, so I'm, I'm loving this timing light. Everything's working as it should, so... Uh, if you look, we've got the uh, green connection on the negative of the coil. That's the pickup uh, for the strobe light to give you the dwell setting. And obviously, the clip that is provided uh, for the HT lead to give us the signal for the spark. Now, the other thing is, um, again, if we look at that, we'll, you see how smooth. You see how smooth that is. I'm really happy with that reading. So even on the electric. Uh, even on a um, points ignition system, this strobe light is not being affected by the electrical noise, which is excellent. Okay, the other thing on this strobe light is you can turn the light on and off with that button there. So the light's on, and now, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Okay, so the strobe light's on there, as you can see, uh, I've used the up and down controls on the strobe, and you can see the timing mark coming into view lined up now and we're just going above so bring it back down to the top mark which is about there and then that's 17 degrees so yeah this timing light works perfectly with point ignition okay so um you just saw there me using the timing light overall i've been really impressed with this because the the most important feature i find is that the readings are uh, very uh, stable, which they are. And uh, this is one of the best timing lights I've used for stable readings. So both the dwell readings and the uh, RPM and the timing readings were um, all spot on. Um, it may have looked like the, the light flashing at the end uh, wasn't consistent, but that's, that's due to the um, shutter speed on the camera interfering with the flash rate. Uh, it was absolutely perfect. So uh, very stable on the crankshaft, etc. So yeah, really good timing light. Just a couple of features I want to go over. Uh, one of the things we saw there uh, was I could turn the light on and off. That's that button there. There's obviously the function switch and then the timing up and down buttons. Now this one here was a useful feature, which is a zero button. So when you've advanced the timing, say you're checking um, the vacuum advance and you want to go you're up at sort of 40, 45 degrees, and you want to quickly go back to the zero, you just, rather than toggling all the way back down 45 times, just hit the zero, and you go straight back to zero, and you're, you're ready to go from that position again. So, all in all, I think this is an excellent purchase. Uh, bearing in mind, I, I purchased this in May of uh, 2023. Uh, the price I paid was 131 pounds from Amazon delivered. Uh, I think that's an excellent value light and I recommend that for both uh, trade use, professionals and also if you want a proper timing light that works also for DIY use. So uh, yeah, Innova, great product.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that there, the uh, review of the timing light. Uh, stay uh, tuned to this channel to see further reviews of other timing lights. I've got a few more lined up. So um, as ever, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much.